Greetings, everyone. Peace of Christ be with you. Let's just dive straight into this debate between Aaron Ra, a very famous outspoken atheist, and one of the first atheist channels I came across on YouTube, versus Cliff from Give Me an Answer Ministry, who was one of the first Christian channels I came across on YouTube. Now watch this, because it's about to get interesting. It's like turning on the light in a room full of cockroaches, and they all go... Pfft. That's what religious belief is like. They want to believe something that they know is not really true, period. And they don't care that it's not really true. And sometimes they'll admit that it's not really true, and that they don't care, and that they're going to believe it anyway. So apparently, religious believers, Christians, are just going to believe what they want to believe. And it doesn't matter what the facts are. Is that what I'm hearing? Over and over and over and over again, I've, I've had that reinforced when believers admit to me that they're going to believe what they want to believe, and it doesn't matter what the facts are. Mm hmm Right. You mean like this guy? If I could prove to your satisfaction that God, the God of the Bible exists, would you worship him? No. They're going to believe what they want to believe, and it doesn't matter what the facts are. If I could prove to your satisfaction that God, the God of the Bible exists, would you worship him? No. So it's the dogmatism that runs so deep. Yes. They're going to believe what they want to believe, and it doesn't matter what the facts are. I mean, I don't think I need to comment, do I? Now, God, per definition, is the supreme being and ultimate reality. But since Aaron Ra defines New Testament biblical faith with a merged quote from atheist philosophers Friedrich Nietzsche and Mark Twain, rather than how actual New Testament scholars specializing in Koine Greek defines it, I am therefore quite sure he has his own definition of God as well. So, let's then say that the truth and facts are that a better God exists? Aaron Ra's answer would then surely be yes, right? Right? If a better God existed than the one in the Bible, I still wouldn't worship it, but at least it would be worthy of respect. I still wouldn't, I still wouldn't. I mean, I, I don't think I need to comment here either, do I? Why talk evidences, philosophy, theology, Bible, and even present arguments to these kind of people? Aaron Ra answers that so well himself. They're going to believe what they want to believe, and it doesn't matter what the facts are. Well, let's keep going, I guess. My worldview, such as it is, is I don't want to be fooled into believing things that are not true. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Truth matters to me. I want to improve my understanding. That's I want to know the way things really are and to get my and, and to get a better perspective on it. You heard that, right? Truth matters to Aaron Ra. He wants to get a better understanding and a better perspective on things. Let's see that in action. The yep. morality that you just advocated to forgive yep. us is exactly what Jesus taught. No, and he didn't. teaching that in the Sermon on the Mount changed no, the Roman Empire. It no, is the basis of grace and forgiveness. No, he didn't. Official love in no, your culture, in your society, in the no, world. No, he didn't. And no, he's changed he didn't. my life and he's changed the life no, of he didn't. people around the world. Millions no, of people. he didn't. So you know. It didn't. Truth matters to me. I want to improve my understanding. That's. I want to know the way things really are, and to get my and, and to get a better perspective on it. You it know, is the basis of grace and forgiveness. No, he didn't. Official love in your no, culture, in your society, in the no, world. He didn't. And no, he's he didn't. My life, and he's changed the life. No, he didn't. People around the world, millions. No, of he didn't. So you know, he didn't. Open to him. If all you can do is keep lying, then why are we having a conversation? No, he didn't. Make it stop. I mean, from a famous influential atheist, Aaron Ra. Why aren't you more strongly attracted to Jesus Christ? Who because he's a dick. There, there's nothing to respect about that hippie asshole. Jesus loves you, Aaron. Jesus doesn't <laughs> exist. For you, and he wrote Jesus yeah. doesn't love you either. Yeah, he does. Now, pull and your I'm head crazy. out of your ass and say something real for once. If you are a Christian, when this video is finished, as hard as it may be, please take a moment to pray for Aaron Ra. So, since Aaron Ra has over a quarter million subscribers when I'm recording this, I'm sure there will be some angry atheists in the comment section. And to them I just wanted to say, for 10 years 
I was a football player around the world. Not a particularly good one, but I did hear and read all the negative comments imaginable. So posting them here will not accomplish anything but a YouTube algorithm boost, exposing this ministry and gospel to a bigger crowd. So, you know, do what you want. To the rest of you, Christians, subscribe, comment, share, hashtag, like, give a like, because apparently we live in a world where getting many likes on the internet is what defines your value and meaning and makes you cool. And I am cool. At least that's what my wife and mommy says. Okay, I'm done. See you in the next video. Fade to black.